What good with you? I say what's happening with you? I say what's popping with you? I'm talking to my slice and dice and slice and dice. Dang! Peace and blessings to everybody watching, man. It's your boy Cardo back at it again with another video. You back at it again too. I didn't just make it to another day, y'all did as well. Since we all here to a nice, beautiful day. Smash the like button. It show your support, it keeps me going. It allows the video to spread, why not smash it? Follow me on my socials as well and uh, subscribe to your boy. You won't be disappointed. Please believe me, this is the best gang on YouTube. A lot of people out there may not know it just yet. That don't mean it ain't true. Get the swords out. We slice and dice game. Every video, y'all know how we do, y'all. Every video, we putting God's truth in it. Got to put some scriptures out there, man. People got to hear it. You right? So get the swords out. Sharpen them up real good. I say real good. Let's do something else today, man. Y'all know where I'm going with this. For y'all who've been following me, man, y'all know what's coming. We do this every day. We got to. It's only right because he didn't have to do it. But he did. Let's thank the most high. Who we talking about? We talking about our almighty heavenly father. Yeah. For allowing us to be here. Today. <laughs> yes, sir, indeed. We got to be thankful, y'all. We got to. I got to talk my talk now, man. Every video, I got to talk my talk. I don't want to waste nobody's time. I want to let you know what you're in for if you subscribe to this channel. You may be ready to, but I got to let you know, right? If you subscribe to Cardo TV and join Slice and Dice Gang, you got to be ready to repent. That means you're ready to live a life full of repentance, right? You're really ready to start obeying the Most High God. He gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to obey. Are you in your scriptures? He gave us commandments. And you ready to be obedient. You also ready to grow spiritually. You want that spiritual growth. That's where it's at, man. That's the real blessing out here. Spiritual growth? I'm trying to tell you, man. That word called faith. You also ready for that to stay strong. Standing ten toes. Standing on business. All the way until the end of the road. You got gifts and talents too, man. See, over here, we use our gifts and talents. You ready to use them too. Serving other people. Making this world a better, much more positive place. You need it out here. God got you here for a reason. That's why you're still here. Basically, for real, for real, if you subscribe over here, you're ready to be a light in the darkness. How that sound? Keep it real. How that sound? If it sounds good to you and you're ready to stop playing games, Come on over here and join Slice and Dice Gang Bars. Welcome to the channel, man. I'm so glad that you can make it. I hope you subscribe. I got seven. Seven reasons why God will test you. It's all out of love. Seven reasons why God tests his chosen people. Why he tests believers in Christ it's all out of love man y'all gotta understand how we gonna get greater how we gonna grow in our faith how we gonna become stronger how we gonna make certain changes if we not tested it's just like in school right they test you in school to see if you improve they give you tests in school right to see where you are God got to do the same thing but he testing you to see where your faith is where your mind is at, where your heart is at, right? So we can continue to move forward going into the things that he sent us here to do. But he's not just going to push us forward. He's not just going to throw us out there instead of, or not instead of, but he's not just going to throw us out there before pitting us to certain tests. He got to see if we improve and if we're ready to move forward, if we're ready to go to that next level, right? Right? Because every time we level up, y'all, 
there is a new devil there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's going to always be another devil there just waiting to bring you down a level. See, God, he like purpose. He wants you prospering in life. He loves you. The devil, he doesn't. He wants you going backwards. He wants you leveling down. He wants you in that dark place. Not over here. Not over here. I'm going to explain why, y'all. We're going to get into it. Now, we slice and dice game, right? So get them swords back out. Every video, we slice it and dice them, right? It's that time. I say it's that time, man. Let's get to it. Y'all ready? Seven reasons. The first one. We're going to start off with some scripture. Get the swords out. It tells us in 1 Peter. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found into praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. So this leads to the first reason. And he allows you to go through certain trials. He allows you to go through certain things in order to strengthen your faith, right? In order for you to strengthen your faith and also on top of that, put more trust into him, right? So you're going to have to go through certain trials. You're going to have to go through certain obstacles. It's going to be times in your life, certain seasons in your life where it just hurt. It hurts. You don't understand what's going on. You about ready to give up. It keep happening back to back. Why? I get it. I know. Trust me, y'all. But it has to happen. It has to happen because it's like, think about it. Every time you want something to go your way and then it doesn't go your way, you become upset. Right? Why are you upset? You are upset because it didn't go your way. You are upset because it's taken too long. You are upset because it hasn't happened yet. You are upset because you take 10 steps forward. Now you always got to go 10 steps back. You upset. All of these things, right? But those, those same things isn't killing you. Those same things are opportunities, y'all. All of those trials are opportunities for you to grow in it. That's why it's important for you to not become frustrated, but in your obstacles, your struggles, ask the most high God to give you the strength to get out of that season or to just, I wouldn't even say get out of it, to be able to continue to move forward in that season of your struggle. Because we don't always want to get out of certain seasons of struggle, out of certain things, y'all, because it's something for us to grow in. It's something for us to learn right there. That's why we shouldn't be so quick to do things our way, trying to get out of a certain situation we in. Take your time. Pray about the situation. Ask God to help you get through the situation, not out of it, get through it. So now that after you get through it, you're so much more stronger now. Right? And then you keep doing it, right? Because it doesn't stop, y'all. I'm going to be honest. These struggles, the obstacles in life, they don't stop. But every single time, God lets it happen for a reason. He don't just, you got to understand this. Everything that happens out here in the world, everything that happens... It's because God lets it happen. Let that sink in. Everything that happens is because God lets it happen. So the things that God is letting happen to you that you may call a struggle, an obstacle. He's not doing that to hurt you. God loves you. He does everything out of love. So why would that be happening to hurt you, to bring you down? That's a lie from Satan. That is a lie from Satan. It's time to grow in these struggles, in these obstacles, so that now, when they happen again, it won't affect you as much. So now, moving forward, you maybe can now help somebody else who's going through the same thing you did because now you got the strength, because you overcame already. You still here, right? Think about all of the things that you've been through, all the things that you overcame. You know you're so much more stronger now, right? That's why sometimes, y'all, I be catching myself thanking God. Like, sometimes I be thinking in the past about, like, certain things that happened to me. Just randomly. And I be thanking God. Like, God, thank you for putting me through that. Because if you didn't, it wouldn't be the same. I probably wouldn't even be here. Certain situations like that, y'all, just remaining thankful and knowing that 
God is growing you in these situations, right? Not to weaken you, to strengthen you up. That's the goal. And like I said, too, to have you put more trust in God, that's where that's where it really has to be. That's where it really gets down to. Your trust in God has to be all the way 100. It got to be 100 on this walk, y'all. On this journey, it got to. Because there's certain things that you go through in life, there's certain things that's out of control, and there's so much spiritual warfare that you go through because you're following Christ. But all of those things, you're able to become stronger and, that, and put that much more faith in God as you get through them, right? Stop relying on your own strength. Rely on God's strength. It tells us in Malachi. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver. That they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteous. So this leads to the second reason. And that's to refine your character. To refine your character. That way you can continue to move more into the image of Christ. You feel me? Refining your character so that you are able to move forward more of an image of Christ. So certain tests are being brought to you, right? To see if you can not necessarily act out of character in it, but to just see how you can let that certain situation make you more like Christ. You see what I'm saying? It's all about the reactions, y'all. That makes the whole difference, how we react, how we react to certain situations that we're going through. Not automatically assuming that that is happening. You know what I'm saying? Because we feel like that God is not there, that he doesn't love us, that he's not with us, that he doesn't hear us. No, he most definitely is there. He's the one who's testing you, right? He's the one who is allowing it to happen. But it's like in every situation, it's a decision. Do you want to complain about it, cry about it, give up about it, or ask how that situation can make you more like Christ? You're probably asking, why be more like Christ? You see, Christ, he's perfect. Christ never committed sin, y'all. He never committed sin. And all of the things that he's been through, right, he understands. He understands because he was here too. So all of them, all of the temptations, the struggles that y'all might be having, he understands it all, but he overcame it all. He beat it all. You see what I'm saying? That's why every opportunity we should ask Christ, like, how did you overcome certain situations? Can you give me that strength? Can you help me do it like how you did? Right? Come on, y'all. God wants us to be just like the Messiah. That's how we're supposed to live, how the Messiah lived. Right? So if we're supposed to live like the Messiah, I feel like it only makes sense for us to ask God to make us more like Christ in certain situations, man. Right? I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know what you're going through right now. But you can't always assume that you're going through it just because... I will say this too. Before I say that, I will say this too, y'all. Certain tests that we go through, we also got to have accountability with them. You know what I mean? You have to have accountability. Like, God be testing you with a certain thing, and then you you fail the test, right? You fall short. You can't always blame somebody else, right? You can't always blame somebody else. You got to always take accountability for your own actions when it's time to. I just had to throw that out there. Because we want to say, let's be more like Christ in this situation. But if we continue to do things that is not of Christ... If we continue to, you know what I'm saying, stay in sin and not repent, if we continue to do certain actions that is bringing us backwards, right? Then we got to we got to take accountability, and then we got to understand that we'll be able to become more like Christ if we operate with that Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit, man. That's why I said in the beginning that spiritual growth. That's where it's at. That's the real blessing because that Holy Spirit, y'all, it keeps you strong. It keeps you on that divine path. It gives you that power. It gives you discernment as well. It keeps you out of a lot of trouble. You know what I'm saying? I sure hope so. Let's continue with scripture, slice and dice game. It tells us in Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. 
So the third reason why he will test you is so he can teach you how to depend on him. To teach you dependence on him, right? So he put you he put you through certain things just to see. It happens. Who are you going to? That's what he's looking at. He put you through certain tests to see who are you going to talk to? Who are you going to ask for help? Who are you going to ask for the strength? Ask for the wisdom. Who are you going to go to in that certain situation? He's testing your dependence on him. You got to depend on God in this walk, man. With everything, y'all. Every single thing. You got to put your trust in the Lord. Not man, which is also in Scripture. Put more trust. Put everything into the Most High God so he can put his hands on it. So that he can help you get out of the situation. Because in certain situations, y'all, with certain tests in life, it is nobody else but God that can help you with it. He wants you to have that mentality with everything, though. Not just when it get too bad. Right? Everything. You bring everything. It tells you in scripture also. It says, seek ye first the kingdom and everything shall be added unto you. Everything. So what are you seeking? When you're going through certain situations, are you seeking to get out of it through your own? Are you seeking to get out of it through somebody else? You need to seek to get out of it or to endure it from the most high God, y'all. The main source, the creator, the most powerful, the all-knowing. Come on, man. I'm telling you, nothing happens if it's not from God. Now, in this world, in Satan's kingdom, most definitely. You know, Satan, he got his puppets. He got his puppets out here. He got people in control doing his dirty work in this world, most definitely. But again, I tell you, God is letting it all happen. He letting it all happen. He just letting things happen to just see who really depended on him. Who really following him? Who really trusting in him with all their heart? He testing your faith. Right? But you got to keep doing it though. Because a lot of the times y'all, we get mad at God. We may sometimes get mad at God because certain things still keep happening. We become an impatient. God is very patient. Very patient. I know God is patient. With all of the things that he's still letting them go on at you. Oh, I know he's patient. Most definitely. But he's so much, he's got so much love for everybody. That's just the thing. So just know we got so much love for you too. That's why he is putting you through this test. He putting you through this test, putting you in those situations in order for you to grow, in order for you to grow your dependence on it. So that way now moving forward, y'all, y'all got to understand it's all preparation. That's what a test is. It's preparing, you, seeing where you are, right? But we got to do it honestly, because just like also on the test, you may pass the test if you cheat, but you cheated. So you may get to that destination, but you're not going to know anything. You see, people be going to school, taking these tests, cheating on them. And then when they, you know what I'm saying? When they pass the, the, the test, it's like, OK, what do you know? You don't know anything. Yeah, you got to that next level, but it's like now you're probably not going to be ready for the next one. Because you cheated over here. Don't cheat yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the Most High God. That's what he wants. Ain't no cheating. All the way honesty. And just, and just depend on him and he gonna get you through. All right? The scriptures tell us in Ephesians. For we are his workmanship created in Christ. Jesus unto good works which God hath, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So the fourth reason why he would test you is to equip you for his work. Right? To equip you for the work he got prepared for you. I keep telling y'all. He been looking over you. He been watching over you ever since you've been born. Getting you through so many things up to where you are right now in this current moment. Right? He gonna continue to test you. Because he got something ahead for you. But he wants you to be ready for it. It's just like training. You know what I'm saying? Like training for a fight. You got to train. You got to train hard. I'm talking about the real fighting, not the, not the wrestling. Don't get me wrong. I used to watch wrestling all the time, y'all. I used to watch wrestling. But at the end of the day, what I will say about wrestling, even though it is fake, they are still doing that live. You got to give them that credit. Even though it's fake, they're doing a whole lot and it's live. You know what I'm saying? They jumping off turnbuckles, off ladders, onto tables and stuff. That's, 
Don't get me wrong. That's, a, that's, that's pretty life. That's pretty nice and live. But at the end of the day, it's not real. But your life, this, this right here, this is real. God got a real purpose for you. He got real work for you to do. So he needs you to really be ready for it. So he's going to put you through certain tests. Seeing if you're ready to move ahead, level up. Right? I'll talk about me real quick, for instance, man. It's just like with me making these videos, for instance, I had to go through certain things. I had to go through a lot for me to get to this point. For me to be able to talk like this. For me to be able to have confidence going out into public making these videos. I had to be tested. And I was tested a lot. And I still am getting tested today, y'all. It don't run out. God gonna keep testing you because it's always more things for you to be doing out here. It's always more ways for you to become better, become stronger, releasing your full potential. But in order for you to become greater, you gotta practice, you gotta train. And that's what the tests are, for you to be ready for the work ahead. Stop, stop thinking about the past. It's done already. It's done already. Just focus on where you are right now. Focus on your situation right now, no matter how it looks. Just know you still got some work to do ahead. You still here. Let that sink in, man. God woke you up this morning. That means he still got work for you to do. He not done with you. So he gonna continue to put you to the test to see if you are ready, all right? Just ask those questions, y'all. Instead of pouting and complaining, when you feel like it's a certain thing going on and God is testing you, ask him. Instead of saying why, change that to how. Why this, why that? How do you want me to become better in this test, in this situation? All right? Come on, y'all. You, you got to practice these things. It takes for you to consistently do it in order for that mind to change. Also in the scriptures, you will be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Right? So it's all about how you think up here, how you react up here. All right? Let's continue. Scriptures tell us in 2 Corinthians, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. So this leads to the fifth reason why God tests you, and it's to bring glory to God. To bring glory to God. Basically, in other words, to give your testimony. God will put you through a certain thing. You overcome it. You get out of it. Now you can spread that good news. You can bring that back to God. You can show people. That you passed that test, that you got out of that because of God. You can show people that you was over the you was able to turn down certain struggles that you was having. Or not struggles, but certain addictions that you was having. You was able to make certain changes, always bringing it back to God. It's all about that glory back to God. Right? Now people hear you talking about it. They hear you talking about how you overcame. They hear you talking about overall the main picture about the most high God so now people hear it people see that that can give them encouragement you giving that testimony that's a light right there for so many people y'all sometimes y'all we tend to forget that when we going through certain things certain tests so the people out there going through it too we're not the only ones we're not alone in it it's a lot of other people going through the same thing y'all going but everybody different everybody got a unique life God working mysterious ways see you giving your testimony at the right time at the right place Somebody could be there going through something the same as you. They hear you, right? And it can change how they hold, how they hold mindset. They hold perspective on things. Now they go on to God. You never know what a testimony can do, y'all. It can bring somebody to pray. It can bring somebody to read in their word. It can bring somebody to just getting baptized. That's great. Getting baptized, man, you never know. No testimony is too small because you're talking about the most high God, which is the greatest the biggest, the magnificent source there is, man. Give your testimony, share your testimony, share your faith as much as you can. The Holy Spirit telling you to do it, don't feel embarrassed about it. Sometimes you may be feeling embarrassed. Come on, man, don't feel embarrassed. You should feel strong and ready to help the next, right? Allow these tests to help you become stronger so that you can also help, others pe help other people grow and get out of their situations that they might be in through your testimony. Come on, y'all, share it. That also tells us in 1 John, it says, And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. 
So this leads to the sixth reason, and that's to test your obedience. To test your obedience, right? To see if you can continue to obey him, trusting in his plans for you, basically. So he's going to put things in place. He's going to, you know what I'm saying, set things. I'll say this, because I don't want people to get it mis uh, confused. God will put you through tests. Satan, he will tempt you. God, not, he don't tempt people. Why would God tempt you to doing something that doesn't glorify him? That doesn't make sense. Why would he tempt you? He's going to test you out of love, right? So he's going to put certain things in place to see if you are obedient. Because if you're not obedient, why will he bring you to that next level? Or why would he move you to a certain area where that certain thing may be more intense? He know you're not obedient, so he know you may probably fall short over here. If that situation came about y'all got to understand god knows everything about you he knows you better than you know yourself he created you he even he knows everything y'all so it's just like it's all about obedience we keep on being obedient throughout the test come on now i ain't even gonna call you a failure for doing it because in the scriptures it says when we fall short when the righteous man falls short he get back up seven times so it's just like, okay, you may be falling short, but it's just like, you getting back up. You trying your hardest to make certain changes. You trying your hardest to live a life full of repentance, not going back to it, right? He got to test that. He got to test to see if you're obedient, right? If you fail, don't look at it as you are a failure. Just look at it as it, it's, it's, it's now a, an opportunity for you to grow, to make certain changes instead of going back, right? Can't keep going back to it. So just continue to do good works and don't get tired of doing it. Also in the scriptures. Come on, y'all. You got to be obedient in this walk. Satan is waiting for you to keep on slacking off, not obeying the most high God so he can creep in, right? You keep opening doors being, being disobedient. You keep opening those doors for Satan. You need those doors closed in order for you to move forward in the God and what God got for you, right? But do you trust in his plan for you? You got to also have that trust there. The trust got to be there at all times when it comes with these tests. Because if you don't trust that God is allowing you to go through these things for your good, you ain't going to get nowhere. Let me tell you another scripture. It says, everything happens for the good of those that love the Lord. That's in Romans. Everything that happens, right? So all of these tests, all of these struggles, trials, anything you may be going through is for your good. God looks at your heart. He see you trying. He see you just staying out the way, trying to live a peaceful life, trying to help so many people as well. He see your heart is pure, but also he got to continue to test you, test your obedience. All right. Let's continue. It tells us in Psalms, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save if such as be of a contrite spirit. So basically. The seventh reason why he is going to test you is so that he can bring you closer to him, right? In order for you to get closer to him, y'all, you got to go through certain things with God. I'm not going to lie to you. It got to be those times where you frustrated with God. Like you mad at him sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, what is going on, man? Talk to me. What's happening? The frustration, y'all. It gets real on this journey. But you got to let it out, though. God don't, he won't get mad at you. He won't look at you differently if you just talk to him like that. Of course, don't get disrespectful now. Don't get disrespectful. I'm just talking about letting out your frustrations. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, whatever it is that you don't understand, bring it to him. Also in scripture. And I think we already said this one, but it's just coming back to me to lean out on your own understanding. The more you lean out on your own understanding and just trust what God is doing, you'll be able to grow closer to him. You'll be able to grow closer to him because when you're growing closer to him, you're drawing near to him, he's going to draw near to you. He's going to come closer to you the more you do it, right? It's about how much love you show, right? God gave us that free will for a reason. What type of God would he be if he just ordered us and made us do everything to go his way? That's not real love. That's like forcing it for real. God wants you to decide. He wants you to decide if you want to love him or not. Right? But you got to know him though. You got to know somebody in order to love them. You got to grow closer to somebody in order to love them. That type of love don't just happen like that. That type of love don't just happen when everything is so sweet all the time. 
right? Y'all got to understand, like, I'll give you an example, like, those situations where two people are together, right? And then they fighting, they having an argument or whatever. But then after the argument, they still love each other. They can still talk about it. They can still, you know, settle their differences. And then those situations sometimes can bring, can bring people closer because they can see that they can overcome those struggles and trials, like with marriage. I haven't been married, but from, you know, what I've seen and what I've been told, marriage is work. Marriage is not easy. Y'all got to be on the same accord. Y'all got to be able to overcome differences. Y'all got to be able to be there for each other, even when it gets hard. Right? Not just backing out so easy. You say you love that person in the marriage. So can you talk to him about it? Can y'all come to an understanding? If it's real, true love, the same thing with our most high God. With these tests, you're going to give up. You're going to think that he don't love you, that he's not still trying to help you out. Come on, y'all, where you trust that? What are you doing to grow closer to the most high God every single day so that you can build that trust? So that you can understand that certain situations is only trying to grow you, strengthen you, and put you in that sense of being more like Christ. Right? But those types of things aren't going to be easy. Those types of things is going to get you out of your comfort zone. You're, you're being put to the test. Are you ready? Where is your faith? Where are you getting your strength from? What are you depending on? Right? That's what it's all about, y'all. So, you know, just ask yourself certain questions. Not the questions of why. Why do I have to go through this? Why are they treating me like that? Why this is happening? Why that is happening? Ask, what can I learn from this test? How can I become stronger in this? How can I become more like you, Christ? What do I need to do? It's all about our decisions and our actions based off of our circumstances. We can choose to be upset, to be in our feelings, but what is that going to do? What is that going to do, man? Besides give Satan a field day. Because now he see that you upset. You all in your mind. You think God don't love you no more because of what you're going through. No, sir. He most definitely does. God is love. Everything he do, man. Everything he do. I want to say one more scripture just came to mind. Because sometimes y'all be looking at life, the world, things that's happening to you. And you be like, if God is love, it's like, why do all of these things keep happening to me? It's another scripture. Let me tell you, it says. Those things that was meant for evil towards you. God going to turn it around for your good. All of the things that's meant for bad for your life. God will turn that around for your good. If you let him, though, if you let him, you got to allow him to do that for you. Continue to do your part. Continue to stay strong. Keep your faith not being distracted by the worldly things. Stay focused on your life. Stay focused on keeping your peace. Stay focused on being a light for others who are watching you. That's what it's all about, y'all, man. A lot of people be having problems because they're so busy focused on the next person. They're so busy rushing towards getting something, right? Instead of bringing it to God first. They're so busy liking drama, wanting to see people fight instead of people coming together, uniting together. There's so much negativity out here. That's why you need to stay far away from the drama. Stay far away from the negativity and keep yourself in that, 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 that space to where you got your peace. You amongst people who are positive, who are encouraging, lifting you up, like over here on Slice and Dice Game, right? That'll just make the life that you live in that much more easier. I won't say it's going to be perfect, but it's just certain things that we can do in order to live a more peaceful life, living our true purpose, enduring these tests, growing closer to God all at the same time. Woo! Y'all like that? I sure hope so, man. Now, I'm going to repeat these seven again. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat all seven reasons on why God will test you. Number one, I said it's to strengthen your faith. Number two, I said it's to refine your character. Number three, to teach you dependence on God. Number four, to equip you for his work. Number five, to bring glory to him. Number six, 
to test your obedience. And number seven, to bring you closer to God. You know what I'm saying? Just deepening your relationship the best way possible with these tests. You hear all these things, man? Just meditate on them. Stop complaining about it. Bring everything to the most high God. All right? He got you out here. He got your back out here. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Also, in scriptures. All right, now? If y'all still here, y'all ain't smashed the like button yet. What you waiting on? I say, what you waiting on? Smash it. Share the video as well and subscribe to your boy. I've been appreciating all the support y'all been giving me. And you can also feel free to support. Got the links in the description, Cash App, and the PayPal. I will highly appreciate that. Now it's something else that I must do. I do this every time. Every video. I got to, man. Just to give y'all an opportunity. Some people may not have said this out loud yet. I'm not forcing you to do this, but just to give you that opportunity to say this out loud, putting the stamp on, receiving that real victory. Right? So we talked about God testing us today. But at the end of the day, while we're being tested, we still got a goal to not only ourselves reach the Heavenly Father for eternity, but to help so many people do the same. Right? The time is now. Repeat after me. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died for my sins. I believe he rose from the grave and is now in heaven with our heavenly father. And I want him to be Lord of my life. Now, if you just repeated that, that was the best decision that you ever made in your entire life. That's a fact, man, the best decision. You got to keep that energy. You got to stay on this path, on this righteous path narrow path it's the best for your life man see the world just don't want you to that's the agenda of, that's the agenda of this world to keep you off track to keep you off purpose man but you're not going for it not after saying that keep that energy god heard you the angels in heaven heard you too oh they lit up that right now they turned up in heaven right now it's a party going on you better believe it the devil heard that though he heard what you said but i'm gonna tell you again you ain't got nothing to worry about god did not give you a spirit of fear but of a sound mind, right? So just depend on him. This is the best commandment there is. Just depend on God with your heart, your mind, and your soul. He got you. Come on, man. Continue using these gifts and talents. Stay focused on something. Stay focused on serving people. Bringing people to this light that you are. Come on, man. Allow God to help you. He got you. And you got to. And I say you got to get your daily bread. We slice and dice, gang, right? So you got to make sure you slice and dice. And in these scriptures, every day, feeding that Holy Spirit. We want that Holy Spirit to overflow. It's going to keep you in alignment with his will the best way possible. He got you out here. So I'm so proud of you. I'm going to tell you again, I'm so proud of you. Keep that energy. You're going to get the victory out here. Facts. Yes, sir, indeed. It's three more things that I got to leave y'all with. You feel me? I do this every trip. Bring it on in, everybody. I got something to say. Just three. Ain't gonna be too long. I said, uh. Oh, 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 I'ma need, I'ma need y'all to have a nice. I'ma also need y'all to have a blessed y'all like that but as far as your blessings have you asked god for every single blessing that he got for you today today just ask him that's all we got to do sometimes go ahead he wants you to receive your blessings cardo do i do so it's only right that you do you feel me I'm not done. I just got one more thing for you. And that's to have a P E A U T for. I like that. I say, oh, oh, you feel me? Man, I 
I sure hope so. Peace out, everybody. God bless everybody. And know that these reasons of God testing you is for your good. It's just all about what you want to do with the test. It's all about how you want to react with these tests. Bring everything to the most high God. Know that he loves you. All right. Come on, y'all. Let's continue using our gifts and talents every single day. Ain't no lacking. Let's continue to pray for ourselves. Pray for yourselves every day, but not just for yourselves, though. Don't be selfish. Pray for those around you because prayer works. Yes, sir, it do. Slice and dice gang. Chosen ones. Let's continue to do everything in our power, bringing more people to the kingdom. I'm out of here.